And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best NVIDIA control panel settings to boost your FPS in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 6. I'm also going to compare how the game would be running with or without these NVIDIA settings. Just to show you guys how much these small changes can actually make your gaming experience so much better. Just a quick disclaimer guys, you cannot break your GPU or anything. Those are all built in settings which are there from Nvidia, you know, you can utilize them whenever you want. And yeah guys, before I'm going to show you the best Nvidia control panel settings, I just want to make sure you're all running the latest Nvidia drivers. All you need to do is open up your GeForce experience, head into drivers and check for updates. As you can see, I'm also not running the latest version, so I'm just going to do this update real quick and then I see you in the Nvidia control panel. And yeah guys, once you updated your drivers, and restarted your PC, all you guys need to do is head over to the right bottom corner of your window screen and open up your NVIDIA control panel. And yeah guys, once we open up our NVIDIA control panel, it should look a little bit like this here. And we're just going to take a look at the 3D settings and especially the just image settings with preview category. And as you can see right now here, you can determine if your GPU should be running on performance, balance or quality mode. On stock settings, use my advanced 3D image settings should be selected by default. Just make sure to put a check on use my preference and drag it all the way to the left side so you're on performance mode just to give you guys the highest amount of FPS and the lowest amount of input delay and once we're done here just simply hit apply and we should be good to go for the first step here. And once we're done with that guys we're gonna head over to manage 3D settings and all I want you to do right now is just copy straight up all of my Nvidia settings guys. Those are all for the maximum performance, lowest amount of input delay and just the highest performance of your PC as you can see here texture filtering quality, highest performance, power management mode, prefer maximum performance. Just straight up copy all of them. I'm just gonna scroll through them a little bit more so you can copy them all one by one. And yeah, once you've done that, just hit apply again and you should be good to go with this step as well. And yeah guys, since this video is all about the best NVIDIA control panel settings, we of course also have to cover the color settings. And once we're here on adjust desktop color settings, you just have to select your main monitor. For me, it's the BenQ Zoe XL 2546. If you have two monitors, just make sure to select the right one. And once we're here, I also just want to talk a little bit here about my settings. Those are the best settings in my opinion. They give you the most vibrant, most colorful gaming experience. And as you can see guys here, color channel, just leave it on all channels because we're going to get the full RGB, you know, all the colors there. Brightness, just leave it on stock on 50. Just make sure to drag it here in the middle because if you put it too much to the right side, as you can see, it's going to get like really bright. And if you put it to the left side, it's going to get like really dark. Just leave brightness on stock. Contrast, put it on 52 just to give you like that tiny bit of extra, you know, like contrast. It's just going to make the colors pop out a little bit more. Gamma actually put it on plus 100. This is just going to give you like the best vibrant color mode because if you drag it too much to the right side, your image is also going to get like really blurry and like... Yeah, white, I don't know. It's just like really shiny then. And when it comes down to digital vibrance, guys, just make sure to drag it all the way to the right side until 75% plus because this is going to give you like the sweet spot between having like a colorful game, but you still don't have any disadvantages, especially competitive wise. And once we're done here with these settings, guys, just simply hit apply and we should be good to go here as well. As a final conclusion, after playing all of these settings, I can definitely say that you won't experience any freezes or lag anymore and you're going to have more consistent FPS and way less input delay. Thank you guys so so much for watching. If you still have any more questions, feel free to ask in the comment section down below. I try to answer as many comments as possible. I'm still hosting a giveaway for Esports Tiger Gaming Mousepad, so if you want to enter, all the infos are as well in the description. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time, stay awesome, I'm out, peace! I've been fucking up lately, yeah, I just need my slime Rolling up a blunt so I can go and pass the time All my jello kicks up in the beam and watch us ride